All red light is on. Hello, world, once again. Sleep calling, quiz news, scores, answers, and more questions for you to do for the next couple of days. Uh, well, the answers are up, and they're pretty straightforward. A couple of contentious ones. Um, you're so vain, for example. Warren Beatty is mentioned. We do know that's confirmed, at least for one verse. Uh, David Geffen's another option. James Taylor, possible, but I think unlikely, because um, it's off the album No Secrets, which is in my top 200 albums. This will be published soon. And uh, he, that's the song No Secrets is about him. So I, I, do, I doubt he'd have two or more songs on the same album. I do not know, for certain. Uh, Mick Jagger gets mentioned, but people, a lot of people don't realise he actually sings on the song. He's in backing vocals. Listen towards the end, you will hear Mick Jagger there. So I doubt it's about him, unless he's really so vain that... Actually, that's quite possible, isn't it? Anyway, um, answers are up. Scores are up. We have two lists of winners, as I mentioned. One for people who do it straight away or without research or big teamwork, phone, phoning backwards and forwards and stuff. And then the other list for people who do want to find out the answers. you got the time. I can't stop you. Do both lists if you like, and several people have. Winning the quizzes then, we've got Steve Anger just beating the Velvet Underpants. Velvet Underpants, who I've known for many, many years. Steve Anger for a few as well, though we haven't seen him lately at the White Hart. Hope to see you soon. Uh, he used to go to the, the other place, as we call it. Uh, Steve Anger, and I'm not the only person this happens to as well. We keep getting emails from you spamming trying to sell Viagra. I had one this week. Now, we're in lockdown. There aren't queues of young ladies allowed to come in for Rumpy Pumpy, unfortunately. Stop with the spam, please, if you can. Uh, other winners, Morgan Boniface from FISO. Not FISO, it's FISO. Uh, just beating World Insanity Plea by one point. And Nancy from World Insanity Plea did write to me. She said, ah, we had Rosanna Arquette as a possible answer as well. It's so close. It's so close. There's more questions to come, though, to sort you out. By the way, there's several teams on one of the lists with the same score, and I worked that out. There is ranked according to time. The first answers I get in, they go higher up the table, and that's how it's going to work. Look underneath. There's more questions down here. Uh, 80s pop music, pretty straightforward. No contentious answers there. Most of those were number one hits as well couple of slightly more left field things in though and one track was released over here in 87 which is why i say the 1987 hits but it tops the charts in 1988 and art is the other topic uh, nine pictures and one question that's a little bit trickier to do with them well good luck that is the quiz cast for today there will be another one tomorrow and answers and scores will go up again the next morning and then more questions later on that day um i think it's tuesday and um, we're meant to do a quiz so we are that's how it works we'll see you soon take care be safe out there